And everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks here at CenturyLink Field. These two coaches, they've been in the news all week long. People have talked about their matchup. These two great minds, successful coaches going at it today. Yeah, and you know what? Everybody talks about the players all the time. We do not give enough credit to the coaches because it takes great coaching to give the players a chance to make the plays on the field that win the games. And we see it so many times. These guys will be ready for any situation that comes up, and they have great experience to rely on. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. McDonald's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and ten. Gores handed the football. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second and 12. Frank Gore gets it here. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. When it's third long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. Third down following the run. Kaepernick from the gun. And they bring down the quarterback. And it's a three and out for the offense. Andy Lee will be punting this one. Waves his arm and he's going to make a fair catch. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They motion the receiver around to the other side. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. To the right. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front. Sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. down here after the run swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage so many things you could do on first down and what do you come up you come up with that play that was just a bad play call He'll fire it out to the left. Tip away. Good job by the quarterback reading the wide receiver. He is all over him, and it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. Baldwin's in the slot. 
Third and 13. He wants to go deep. And they can't connect. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Offense lines up here. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. I guess that's how we're going to be today, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to go for it on fourth down. That time they go for it and they get it. Good job. This play set up by the long gainer. Looking long. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw. Nice touchdown. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. Kickoff return formation. And he's met head on right there at the 20. is in the backfield. Gore's got it on the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got to time the pass where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it, and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. formation here for the defense he brings it in here and he's got the first yeah I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time you go for it on fourth down you get it I'll give you that but I still think it was a bad decision In the backfield, first down and 10. And the quarterback is taken down. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you're going to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Too much pressure, and he's brought down again. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed. When it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Running away from the pressure. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That catch, good for a first down. Crossing rounds, that's what you want to throw when you see this type of coverage. Four deep, 
Cover four, look for guys going across the field. Hard for the defense to cover those throws. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Vernon Davis hauls it in. I think the best thing to say about that play is just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. And Manningham lined up in the slot. Impressive piece of running by Gore. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back seeing the proper hole. Gets up in there and picks up big yards. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We'll be back from Seattle for the start of the second after the break. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The long drive continues. Second and 11. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Brandon Browner with the interception. He's out of bounds. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. down looking to the right side and throwing slips past one player that's what you got to do as receiver in the nfl now how about this play he goes up high makes the catch takes the big hit and holds on second down after that pass play recovery by the defense that was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time protect the football no excuse for letting it uh, fumbling the football in a situation like that. They face first down. Gore. He's going to the left. Good yardage picked up on that call. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Throwing now to his left. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. That leads us to second down. Play action. Getting away from the pressure. Fires it in there and complete. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Colin Kaepernick will be taking this one from the gun. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. And he all the way home and all alone. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. There's a flag out. And the point after is good. Offside. Defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. He'll start his return. And 
they're all over him at the 18-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. Looking across the middle, zeroed in on that one. Now, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, a double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the wide receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Right, now they'll try over again on second down. And he's thrown to the ground. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Going across the middle, Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. That long gain sets them up here on this play. And a little screen set up here. Makes the catch. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, too. The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. First down, following the long play. Handoff to the pack. Trying the right side. Gains may be fine. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Well, this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. That's a timeout by the defense. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and goal from the two. He takes it on the counter into the end zone for the touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Seahawks with the PAT to come. Extra point is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. McDonald's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and 10. Looking to scramble. They're going to get him this time. Well, that's the quarterback's fault. My gosh. The safety, that's who he is supposed to look at at all times when he's under center and when he drops back, he takes his eyes off of him. And what happens? Well, he gets sacked. And Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Kaepernick from the gun. Kaepernick able to find Mario Manningham. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play 
instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. What a nice corner route run by the wide receiver. He fakes the defensive back out, and look at the quarterback. He knows that little move. When he stuck it, he let him out to the corner. Nice throw, nice catch. Now first and ten. Trying to work that left side. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Third down now. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And he's taken down. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Going for the deep ball. He caught it. The ball is out. And the defense has it. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. To the ground here, heading right. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. Second and six. Under pressure and incomplete. Russell Wilson has it under center. Third down and six. He'll throw it over the middle. Baldwin's going to pull in the bullet pass. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Looking to go deep. Makes the play. Six in the books. The fade round, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here, look at the receiver, pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down on the way. High formation and a running play. Steps out of bounds. Number 21 with the carry. The 49ers come to the line with an empty backfield. Second down and five. The throw to the left. A takeaway. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice hit. First and ten. Working that left side. Makes the reception. The Seahawks, one timeout remaining. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Now 
Let's see how they back up the big play here. Eyeing that left side. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Ball's loose. Well, this defense all over that play. They tackled the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third and long. Advantage goes to the defense. Stepping up to the line at the 14. Split backfield here. Third and 14. He's intercepted. Has some space to work with. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Well, on defense, to make a play like this, so much of it is about timing. Perfect timing by the defensive player. Gets the interception and runs it all the way back for a touchdown. And a flag is down. And the extra point is good. Offside defense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. And that's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back from the Emerald City for the start of the second half in Seattle after the break. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. Perfectly thrown. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. That reception gave them the first down. Wilson's going to throw once again on this down. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, they're teaching all these guys in the NFL, don't hit high, and we might be seeing more of this, lower body injuries, because the, the defensive players, they're learning. Hit them lower. Don't get any flags thrown that way. But give, he'll go left. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued, and when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. They're able to move the chains after that last run. That catch will extend the drive. Kent, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Seahawks official. Percy Harvin's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. They've got a first down now after that catch. Throws to the right. Just couldn't get his feet down on that catch. Got to get the defense. A lot of... A lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. That play is going to be challenged. There is the red flag. Play number six coming up on this drive. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. He'll fire it out to the left. 
Touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. they got to make the catch. That time he did. It's good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. The tackles made right around the 25-yard line. McDonald's playing out of position in the backfield here. First and 10, and the give to Frank Gore. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Offense lines up here. Second and eight. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Almost intercepted that time. And that was a battle for the football, Phil. That time the defense won out incomplete. Yeah, nice job, Jim. That time by the defensive back just being aggressive and get and making sure the receiver could not make the catch. Third down and eight. Makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. Touchdown and drawing close. Well, that's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. The point after is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Fumble. A huge turn of events. The ball's going back the other way. And he's brought to the ground. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes a fumble, and they recover. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Gore is taking the handoff. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Second down now. Frank Gore gets it here. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You've got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Another kick. Touchdown. Runs it across. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Add the extra point, the kick is good. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. This is a big time return. Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return? by the return team. Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind and stop the touchdown. First and 10. Throws the pass. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. High formation and a handoff. You've got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second 
down and 12. It's handed to the running back. Left side. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody worse. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle, and now we have fourth down coming up. He's looking long. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. Going back the other way. You knew this was going to happen. There's the red flag, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. The 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and 10. They hand it off to the running back. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today really been beat up second and nine action fake looks to his left makes the catch in open space and he is tackled down at the 38 yard line quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense sometimes they're expecting run you fake it easy completion down the field here's the first snap after the big play colin kaepernick from the shotgun He'll fire it out to the left. Vernon Davis hauls it in. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can fool them with the run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. The 49ers are rolling after a huge gainer at the end of quarter number three. To the long game let's see what they do here and there's only two yards to be found right there this team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone this is a nice change up they fool them well they thought they were going to fool them with the run but it only gets a short game Colin Kaepernick under center and nine staying on the ground now the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone if you like to think of money and it's a tie game a lot of things you could do they love to throw it in the end zone but maybe they'll cross them up with the run we'll find out plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one they feed the running back and it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. That time, i got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it costs his team yards lost. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. Throwing now to his left. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. First down coming up. Wilson from the shotgun. Looking for Percy Harvin, but they can't connect. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Second attempt. Brings it into his body. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. 
The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Sidney Rice with the reception. That time it's a short pass to the receiver and I give him all the credit. He takes a short pass and turns it into a long gain. He has the move to get it done and he did that time. This play set up by the long gainer. Trying to work that left side. What a hit and the ball falls incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. On the spot. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40 percent of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. First and goal. They run right. Five yard total. Getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Lynch has got the handoff on the counter. They break through, tackle them behind the line. Always manage the football game. You gotta be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Slash it, and he's in for the touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably gonna see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. This one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock, has to be very careful. Trailing, needing points to get back into this one. He's in for the touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. The PAT sails wide here. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Shakes off the tackle. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. Once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Lynch is in the backfield. Single back set. First and ten. Lynch. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. Percy Harvin's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass, 
Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Third and three, the throw to the left. The Seahawks get a first down. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Good quarterback will hand it off. Tackles made. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. And here we have second down. They beat him the ball again. Slashes to the left side. That was a good call by the offensive coach that time. They needed one first down to win this game to seal things up. He makes the right call, and they get a big first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Takes an eight. 